The Oruwo people allege that they have written several letters pleading for help from the authorities without response. Hence, they have decided to approach the media for the general public to be aware of their plight. The spokesperson for Oruwo community, Comrade Charles Egage, recalled that when Share BP operated the same oil wells in 1988, the people enjoyed accruing benefits, adding that since Seplat Energy took over management of the investment, they have been subjected to all sorts of inhumane treatment. All oil wells in question have coordinate points, and it has been revealed from the coordinate point that they are all in Oruwo community, in Ugo world, in Orion local government, at those states. If not that they have a stake in this uh, in your art, but we are saying enough is enough. The Odeon way of Orogo community, Pa Ogeva Odiase, a community leader, Mike Amagbake, as well as some youth leaders, Ikbamosa Osayomori and Nusa Osayande, said that they have suffered enough and cannot continue to swallow the bitter peace. Otona or Barino, Ogiman or Wolino, Imabeho, Namako Mavi Sukweme. We have presented several documents from National Boundary Commission. We have presented a series of coordinate points to them, and yet they approve uh, uh, Adamant, which goes to show that somebody is somewhere sitting on our benefit, and we are saying enough is enough. The Orogo people during the peaceful protests were unanimous in their view to sustain the protest until the authorities intervened in the issue to avoid breach of public peace. Attempts to get reaction on secular energy were all successful. Independent television and radio attempts to get their reactions whenever the company is willing to comment on their allegations. Thomas Sado, ITV News.